on the face of the thing that I'm a the way that I dress, the people I Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Red Wings are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. Here's a shot. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Pedersen's got that snipe zone ability. His shots are so accurate when the puck is flat and ready for him. Larkin's foot speed can make him dangerous, and that's his wheel zone ability. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their... Stars! Dylan Larkin! The game has so many swings of momentum, and you always look to your leadership to make a difference, and that's exactly what he does when he puts this goal on. He's contagious, he's infectious when it comes to energy. And there's another example. The Red Wings have to be feeling good about themselves. They have been pushing and pushing to start this one. James, they're emotionally charged as they're at home, they're playing their opponent, and they started right from puck drop, and that emotion was transferred or channeled into their feet because they've been all over the ice with their legs under them. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Morris. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Red Wings lead it 1-0. And off the faceoff, they take possession. And that's broken up by Miller. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Detroit's looking to break out. Takes the pass. Detroit's cut him along the wall. They got a chance to make something happen here on the delayed penalty. Extra attackers out. Here comes the call. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Picked up along the wall by Suter. And a stiff break set up. Gains the zone along the right wall. From point blank. Nice save from point blank range. He gets the one two. The game is played at such a high rate of speed, James, that you have to make decisions quickly, but there's a lack of coverage and a huge defensive miscue that leads to this goal. Detroit's got lots of jump in their step tonight. They put lots of pucks on net already. And they win that draw at center. The Canucks pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Sends the pass over. Here's a short pass to Hughes. Pedersen's got it in the offensive zone. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Besser. Moves it to Gostaspair. Takes the feed. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Still keeps a hold of it. Feeds it over to Raymond. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Petrie. Denied by Demko. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Tries to the crease. Oh, how do you miss from there? Well, this is a tough miss, James. I think he might have rushed it or even panicked a little bit. Typically, he's going to put this shot on target, but instead, he misses. And he rings the post! Detroit's lead will not change. Sometimes you do all the hard work to get to the right spots on the ice, but you don't have any puck luck, and that was evident there as it hit the post.
Jason Eric. Here's the pass. Right in the low slot. Oh, it's denied by Husso. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Here's a chance. Score! with period number two in moments. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Vancouver's trailing in this game because they haven't had any urgency around the puck. They've been chasing the game, and they haven't had any possession time. Into the attacking area from the left side. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. The Canucks win the draw. Poked away by Dabrinkit. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Perron. Here's a chance in front. And that's blocked in front. Pedersen's looking pretty banged up out there, James. Looks like he's fighting, pushing through something. He's struggling to get to the end of the shift. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that one's turned aside. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. He grabs the puck here at the point. Centering pass, and he denies that great opportunity there. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Slides the puck over. Quick pass to Copper. Oh, and he lives on it. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Susie. The Red Wings gain control of it. And a nice save there as play continues. Oh, that's a smart heads up play as he breaks it up with the poke. Let's see what the officials are calling. On this 
situation he is going to get the trip into line. Thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick and got into the skates. Tripping is the call. They had success earlier in the overload, James, and I expect that they'll run it again. They're working off one side of the ice. They know that they might have to be heavy and hard on the wall for the cycle. It's about quick puck movement to back off the coverage right away and look for your opportunity to take it to the net. Answered the call there. Moves the puck to Myers. Through center along the wing. Pushes it across to Suter. Shot! And there's the save! Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Scooped up along the wall by Gostas Bear. Inside the offensive zone. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Gostas Bear. Knocked away. And he takes the feed. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Here's a short pass to Comfort. A chance in front! How did he stop that one? The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Pokes the puck away. Slides the pass over to Miller. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you gotta figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. And he turns that one aside. Let's it go! There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Larkin set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Detroit's taking possession in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Perron. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Moves it to Fabry. That's a textbook save by Demko. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Bluegers recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. Vancouver's got the puck after winning the defensive zone face-off. Now he slides it up to Beauvillier. Great heads-up play with the stick by Rasmussen. Fabry's got it in the defensive end. Garland's penalty is almost expired. Great reach with the poke check by Bulger. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up. Empty handle on that one. Turn that chance aside. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position. Square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Fires it! Blocker saved by Demko. Angles it over to Hoaglander. Broken up in the neutral zone by Rasmussen. The Red Wings are in a tight game. They gotta start making good on all those interceptions where they've been great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've gotta convert. Pedersen's out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We've just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Cops got it against the boards. Here's a blast! What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Huge play, two on one. Here we go! It over. What a play, that's how you do it on defense. Slides into Petrie. Moves it quickly over to Susie. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. The Canucks have it now. And he takes the pass. And there's the horn, bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. 
Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Canucks have been back on their heels throughout this entire game. The good part, they've got 20 minutes left to play, and it's a close game. Scores! And they took it into the back of the there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. Well, nobody likes having a goal called back, but they'll just have to play on as the puck's about to drop. Bluger's won the draw here in the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Steps inside. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Hughes is such a creative player. If he sees an opening, you know he's going to take it. He's an aggressive style player, and he tries to attack. And when he does it there, he loses the puck. Quick feed to Sider. Oh, and he stops that one that was served up with a whole lot of spice. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. With all kinds of traffic, he grabs the puck here inside his own end. Hughes has it in the defensive end. Centering feed. He scores! What a goal! They used their speed on this counter attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it, they could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. It winds up in the back of the net. The Canucks have suddenly put themselves into striking distance to even things up here in the third. And it's tough when you're on the other side of this. You can feel the wave coming and you're not sure how to stop it. So they have to find a way to continue the pace and put them on their heels and just attack the net. He got all of that one. The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. Quick pass to Comper. Takes the feed from the left side. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Taken along the wall by Hoaglander. Tees him up. Can't get it to go. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. From center, they get into the attacking area. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Passes it over to Suter. Picked up along the wall by Hironic. And he slides it quickly to Hughes. And now he moves it to Hironic. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. Grabbed along the boards by Petrie. Can't keep a hold of it. Denied by Demko. The Canucks gain possession. Hughes works the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Garland. Quick feed down low. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Fires it! He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Across the line along the left wall. Passes it in front. And it turns off a twig in front of the net. Trying to get back on the attack now. And it's a quick pass to Cole. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Handles the pass. Denies him! Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Edmonton's coming up next on the schedule. And these two teams, doesn't matter where they are in the schedule, where they are in the standings, always a good contest. I'm looking forward to that. Larkin's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Quick shot! And that's blocked from someone in front. Pumps the puck away. Moves it to Larkin. Here they come on the attack. To his teammate! And he's got that one. Dishes it to Besser. Locked him in the open ice. Detroit's got it in their own zone. The Canucks really need a goal here. They pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. <laughs> Scores! Into the net. This was right in my real life, James. These were the type of moments that I played in, and everyone can take a breath now that the insurance marker has hit the 4 by 6 On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James, and that's just a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice, and hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. 
Detroit's looking to close things out here late in this third period as they continue to lead. Shooters run the draw at center. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. Braun's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone.